Hey everyone, this is Randy from BibleBuyingGuide.com. Today I'm taking a look at the MacArthur Study Bible 2nd Edition from Thomas Nelson in the Premier Collection in the New American Standard Bible, the NASB. So this is very similar to the NKJV that came out not long ago. Yeah, let's take a quick look at what we got here. Premium goatskin leather, Smith sewn binding, raised spine hubs, art gilt edging, three double-faced satin ribbons, premium European Bible paper, 39 GSM, comfort print designed by 2K Denmark, 72,000 cross-references, and 9.5 print. So the goat skin is the brown, and it has a nice grain to it. It's really thick. Perimeter stitching, there's the, the spine hubs. Really flexible and floppy leather liner, edge line with a, a gilt line. I always like it when they include a gilt line. It just gives it a little extra flair of, looks like it's finished. And then this, this is done on purpose. Don't pull that apart. That's where this edge lining tab is glued into. And then we have our presentation page. And then that's the only thick end sheets. And then we go into our 39 GSM paper. I love this paper. Excellent paper. And then... It, you see this line of stitching right here that is overcast stitching so it has overcast stitching in the front I didn't see it in the back but this does give it extra structure extra strength and as, as big as this Bible is that does help a lot it is made in China And it has several articles, lots of charts and maps. Articles cover about what the Bible is, introducing the Bible. And then it, how we got the Bible. Progress of Revelation. How to study the Bible. And then the preface to the New American Standard Bible. It does cover information about the Bible, how to use it, and then we get in, into it. It starts with introductions to sections. And these include the Pentateuch with a timeline, Samuel, Kings, and Chronicles, this, the Harmony, which is uh, similar to Harmony of the Gospels. This is helpful because... It's not always easy to understand exactly how they go together, but the books do go together and they overlap, covering the same information. Introduction to the Prophets with a chronology, and then we get into our biblical books. The books have about three-page book introduction with title, author, date, background setting, historical theological themes, interpretive challenges, and then an outline. Really decent outline. And then double column paragraph format. I'll zoom in so you can see that. With about 12 words per line, which 10 to 12 words, which is excellent. I, I love that, that line count. This line count is excellent for reading. Um, it does look more like a 9 point to me than 9.5, but it does have extra spacing in the lines, which makes it a little bit easier to read. The verse numbers, chapter numbers, section headings, um, text that links to the notes that link to the text all this is in blue or like a teal all this is in teal but the verse numbers are not really hard to find but they don't stand out a lot paper is just a touch rough which I like it, it helps in turning the pages but it feels like elegant paper lots of, of, of uh, opacity not much show through at all even in the poetic settings, you don't see a lot of show through here. Another interesting thing about the text, it's line matched for the text and for the notes. So where this line is printed, it, the line on the back side of the page is printed in the same location on the page. The paper is opaque enough that it doesn't make the text look gray because of text behind it. And this even includes all the way down here to the um, references. You can see they're line matched and the notes are line matched. That's hard to do. 
That is very hard to do. So we have our references with footnotes. And this is the full set of footnotes, not the abbreviated set that's in some of the other uh, NESBs. But uh, this is the full set with 72,000 cross-references, and they're placed along the bottom underneath the text. Now, they also include teal, chapter, and verse numbers, so they're a little bit easy to, to, to find. Also, there's space between the last reference and the chapter and verse number for the next one. That extra space makes these a lot easier to use. I like that. That is a good design feature. I'd like to see that added to a lot of other Bibles. I typically find the horizontal single column references a little bit difficult to find. These are a lot easier because of that spacing. And then we have our poetic setting. The poetry looks great in this. It's done well. We don't have a lot of awkward cuts in the text, in the lines. There's one of our in-text maps. And as you can see, they're all in the teal, teal highlight. There are no articles in the text. The notes, of course, are detailed. The book introductions are detailed. There's a chart. They all basically look the same. Charts and maps. So there's one of the maps. Now this map is within the text, but most are down here at the bottom. There's not a lot of interruptions in the text. Just the maps. Articles are placed in the front, in the middle, and in the back. There's Psalms. Poetry looks excellent. I love the way they, they've designed this poetry. I like a good poetic setting. I like it to be easy to read, and this is. I like the breakpoints to be in, in smart places. This is. It's done well. They didn't just go all the way to the end of the line and then have one word on the next line. They, they broke it in good places where it makes the most sense. All right, now we have between the testaments, intertestamental period. This covers Jewish history, Jewish developments, a timeline, and then we get into our New Testament introduction, introduction to the Gospels, Roman Empire, the New Testament, ministries of the Apostles, ministry of Jesus, the Gospels, that's a harmony of the Gospels. They're all done in this spreadsheet style. Prophecies of the Messiah fulfilled in Jesus Christ. In the order of their fulfillment. I like tables like this. I like connections from prophecies to the Old Testament. And their fulfillment in the New Testament. I like to see that. Really good for study. Lots of overviews. This is a black letter text. And they retain the all caps for Old Testament quotes. I love that. That makes it easy to spot a quote. I love that. That's, that's done well. For the most part, it's easy to read the text without being distracted by the notes. And then we have our appendix, appendices. Character in, of genuine saving faith. Read through the Bible in a year. Overview of theology, monies, weights, and measures. Index to key Bible doctrines and a concordance. Character of genuine saving faith gives you an outline. It's basically an outline study. And then we have read through the Bible in a year. This gives us the month, the date, a morning and an evening reading, with the morning being from New Testament and the evening being from the Old Testament. A little bit of space there. You can mark them off if you wanted to. Overview of theology, the Holy Scriptures, money's weights and measures, index to key Bible doctrines, and this gives the doctrine with subtopics within that doctrine and then references for that doctrine. And then, of course, you'll see commentary of these doctrines for these references back in the scriptures. And then concordance. Large concordance. I love this concordance. It provides some topical information 
For example, let's look at Christ. So for Christ, we have several other things to look up in the concordance. And then we have uh, several subtopics all the way through here. And then we have the Thomas Nelson maps. These are full color maps on thick glossy paper. There's not an index, but they are annotated. You can see the annotations there. They're easy to use. They have a lot of good information on there. So let's, let's weigh this thing and measure it. Seven inches wide by nine and three quarters tall by two inches thick and it weighs three pounds 12.9 ounces so that's a quick look at the macarthur study bible in the nasb thomas nelson did supply this in exchange for an honest review i'll leave some links in the footnotes where you can make a purchase where you can see a more detailed review on biblebuyingguide.com if you have any questions let me know thanks for watching